what we'll do is we'll just integrate it because it, it is somewhat the same. Like it's obviously they're two different, you know, brands, but it is all kind of somewhat the same real estate, mm-hmm. your credit. So let's just put everything in next step realtor, which is totally fine. Okay. So in pages, all we're going to do is to the left, click on pages and we're going to simply add your page. So go ahead and click the blue button and then we're going to, um, we're going to add page, add a page because you already own it. So just add a page and then you'll just type it in, type it in right there and you'll see it in the drop down. Always go with the drop down. So right there. Perfect. So click the drop down and then just go ahead and click on add page. And now this page is connected and it's all in this one, one account. So I was just trying to separate them, but, but leaving them here is just as fine. So mm-hmm. you could totally leave them here. So, um, your name right there is connected to the to the page, so you can see your name, Dorica Morrison, in the middle, under underneath people, underneath people. Underneath so to the right, no, you see your name to the right. So no, you're fine there. <laughs> so now, Sorry. add accounts. Click on add account to the left. What you're going to want to do is create a new ad account for that page. So <clears throat> this next step realtor, that's for the real estate page. Now let's go ahead and click on the blue button, the add, and let's just add an account or, or create a new ad account, create a new ad account, <clears throat> create a new ad account and go to name it. Um, what we're naming everything else, <clears throat> credit lady or whatever. Yeah. We'll name everything under that one name. Yeah. Okay. Does a hyphen matter? Um, no, what, however you want to put it, however you're naming everything. Well, name it's, it. it's just the way that it is on the actual page. I just didn't know how, how consistent I wanted everything to be, but I'm okay. With yeah, that. that's, yeah, I, I want it to be as consistent as possible, really. So if there's a hyphen, put a hyphen, like whatever, like whatever that okay. brand. Yeah, perfect. So hit next. And then over here, it's going to ask you for, for payment information. Um, just go ahead and click on my business and then create. Okay, cool. So now you can put the same credit card over here or use the same one, but click on the, the, um, your name at the top left, check that circle. And then, um, to the very, very right manage ad account, full control down. <clears throat> yeah, that one. And then assign. Yep. And then assign. Okay, cool. So, and then add payment info. Okay. That's that. Now what you'll want to do is click on, okay. So credit lady is good. And then click on click on connected assets right there in the middle of the page connected assets. Hmm. One thing we'll have to do is go ahead and click on add asset. We'll have to um, get the pixel first. So yeah, and then we'll see right here. So we'll have to install the pixel first. So X out of this. Okay. And then now what we'll do is to the very very left, <clears throat> scroll down and just connect any Instagram account if you have a different Instagram account. But it's probably the same. You can leave that there. Now what we'll have to do now is click on Go ahead and click on um, brand safety. So right at the top, you see brand safety and then click on domains. And this is where we have to integrate um, the other domain. So you can click on add and then we're gonna go through the same process with GoDaddy. So enter your domain there. No www, just the domain. It's here. Okay. So yeah, so just- um, I don't wanna grab it. (laughs) Well, you can try to copy it or you can just go ahead and just paste it in. You're going to have to paste it in over there or, or type it in, in the Facebook side. Oh, if I just type it as the, I don't have to put all the W's and all that. HTTPS no, just, 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 just the credit dash lady. Yeah. Just okay. grab that. I if you remember that. Well, I'll grab it. Well, I can't. Yeah. You, yeah. I don't think you can. So just. Not from there. I don't freaking know what I'm doing. I swear. No, you're fine. Go to business settings and just paste it in right there and then you're good. Okay, cool. So add domain. Okay, so now we have these instructions right here. So um, click on the DNS verification to the right up DNS verification to the right. I won't see it yet. Your other oh, right. to the right, duh. Yeah. DNS verification. DNS. Sorry, I kept going to the left, my fault. <laughs> I'm awkward. like, wait a minute, sounds all right. So number two, click on on that, on the on the yeah, on the dark one. Yeah, copy. Okay, cool. So now let's go to go to GoDaddy. And we're gonna simply um add it over here. So if you scroll down, see if you can go down, 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 down. Do you see manage DNS? Um I know there? another way to get to it. Yeah, let's go to um the domains and then just click on manage DNS. Perfect. 
Okay, cool. So now over here, all we're gonna do is scroll down. Oh, you need to go to your practice? Yeah. I wish you could drive. Yeah. Just scroll down a little bit and click on add. Right there, add. Okay, so now the type, you're gonna hit select and you're gonna go down to TXT. Okay, perfect. And then the host is the at sign and then the value is that link. So just paste it in there. Okay, and then save. And then um, you're good over here. So now go back to Facebook, the business settings, and then just um, click on verify. You might have to click on it a few times, but try to click on it on one time, verify the green one. Okay, you're good. So that domain is now active. Now what we'll have to do is, is get the pixel. So we'll now have to um, get the pixel for, for uh, yeah, for a whole new pixel. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down um, to the left, actually scroll up to the left, go to, um, to um, actually it's a little lower. We're looking for data sources. Yeah, data sources above, data sources, um, and then go to pixels. Okay, perfect. So right here, you have your next step realtor pixel. Um, and then all you're gonna do is just click on the blue one to add another one. So click on add. And then this right here is your credit lady. So name everything the same, P pixel name, credit lady right there. Is, it, is that why I type it? Yep. Oh, I still got caps lock on. Okay, so this is gonna be um, your new pixel for, this, for these pages. Um, and just hit continue. Okay, so now over here, we'll have a little walkthrough. So click on set up the pixel now. Mm -hmm. And then over here, you're going to see number two, manually add pixel code. Click on that one, that second one down. And then um, over here, you'll click on the code. So go ahead and click. It'll turn green. Okay, now scroll down. And then um, make sure that, um, turn that off real quick and then turn it back on. Yeah, click and then turn it back on. Okay, perfect. Now they're all blue. Hit continue. And then you can just, um, you can just X, you can just X this out, cancel. Okay, cool. So now you have the pixel um, copied. So now go to Kartra and just open up one of those pages and just add the pixel. Perfect. Okay, I that will be my homework assignment. I've got to run. I've got to take my daughter to drama yes. practice. Okay, but that right there, you we we've just set up everything up right there. So now there's there's other things we got to do the custom audience, the custom conversion, yep. but that's about it. Everything else is is good to go. New ad account, credit card up on file. This is the new pixel um, domain integrated, um, and there's just a few more steps, but we'll do that on our next call. Okay. Knock so all I that out and schedule as soon as you can. Okay. Thank Ready? you. Thanks. Bye-bye.